Just wanted to go over kinetic uh, defense and attack real quick, how you could apply such. A real easy offering that I'm going to show you real quick, and this works in multiple of phase and currents. The Loa love this, uh, the Gede go crazy over this in uh, Voodoo, but also you can use this in kinetic sorcery and other necromantic traditions. You'll plastic tumbler and just put some cigarettes at the bottom of there and just take a high proof alcohol uh, take a, a high strength whiskey or a brandy or a rum I mean if you don't drink any of those things you could probably use wine there uh, and you just take it in the tumbler you fill up and you let them fucking steep for a few days. You let them steep in there like you're making a tea. But do not fucking drink. Holy shit. That will kill you. Nick, You'll get instant nicotine poisoning. Don't fucking drink it. But um, you can offer this to Cain. Um, the Restless Dead like this. The Gede love this. A lot of different sorceress traditions um, use this. So I'm going to place it on his altar and I'm just going to show you real easy how you can defend yourself. This exercise uses the prayer against enemies. So facing the north there, O Lord of Death, Mighty Cain, you are my friend and protector. I pray to act harshly and severely against all my enemies. Let your red and slay fall upon all those wish me harm or openly and see conspire against me. Blind their eyes they can't see me. Then you're going to trace a horn pentagram. Turn to the east. Deaf in the ears they cannot hear me. Draw another horn pentagram. Turn to the south. Remove their tongues so they cannot speak any words against me. Turn to the west. Shatter the pottery of their small, small minds. Scatter to pieces and pave over the pieces. They cannot ever form a coherent thought or memory against me. And look up. Trace another pentagram above your crown. Hack off their arms and their hands. They cannot hold from, steal from me, take up weapons or pursue after me. And then finally, trace the pentagram below your feet. You chop off their legs so they cannot pursue after me. Let your red and scythe become my one sword of conquest with a sevenfold stab to their blackened hearts. Return them all the evil and malicious wickedness that they would have directed against me. And you can stab in all six pentagrams that you traced, making a cube formation. And in the next video, I will go over further details and explain each of the words and what exactly we're doing. So, a little bit of explanation of the prayer against enemies and how it works. So, Lord of Death, Master Cain Felxfer. Felxfer is Latin for scythe bearer. So, Cain the scythe bearer, you are my keeper, protector, and friend. I pray to act harshly and severely against all my enemies. So this is a request to your patrons and your spirits. Um, and all true occult systems and occult faiths are going to have something like this. They're going to have devotional prayers and rites. Exercise a call upon your patrons to intercede for you and work against your enemies. The next line, you read, Let your red and sight fall upon all those who wish me harm, who openly and seek conspire against me. Now, um... This is very specific. This is your enemies, those who have made the free will choice to trespass you, to steal from you, to attack you, to gossip you, to send negative vibes, to send uh, Malefica your way, or even if they're not acting magically against you, they're just gossiping about you or, or sabotaging you in an existential right way in the real world. Those are talking shit about you, which is basically the same fucking thing as gossip. Are actively fucking you up or causing you a problem in some way. 
there when you have done nothing wrong to them you are in your right you are well within natural law to defend yourself blind their eyes so you cannot see me this is very true this is very effective there it will literally cause it can up to the point of like physical blindness it can physically blind them but a lot of times it will even like fuck up their divination as well um in the spell to uh, blind uh, known and unknown enemies there, where you draw um, a big eye on a piece of paper and you stab it through there, that does practically the same thing. There is so powerful, it will fuck up their divination works. It will fuck up their tarot readings, essentially. Like, um, and and remember, you're you're okay to stand. You're okay if you're to defend yourself. If someone is actively trespassing you and they have made an enemy of you, you're completely okay to, to defend yourself. Now this prayer can be worded to attack, to curse and attack others who haven't cursed you yet. There haven't become problem with you yet there. Um, it can be done. I'm not going to say how exactly you're going to do it in uh, this video there but it, it but if that person is also a practitioner or if that person that you're using it against you know if you're in the wrong it, then you're you're gonna reap you're you're gonna reap that as well so just stay within natural law and only use it to defend yourself there or attack the real scum of the earth they're like child abusers or like those who are really are the our enemies and Cain's enemies is, is the enemies of life itself. You know, those who would and not, I'm not going to say the names here cause I'll get like banned off YouTube, but you know what I'm saying? The fucking like Epstein's of the world. They're like, they're, they're the enemies of Cain. Those who do like horrible things to children or like traffic children. Then like, yes, you absolutely should um, throw this. Um, you absolutely should throw this type of mat black magic in their direction, you should fucking uh, curse and attack those motherfuckers. Deafen theirs they cannot hear me. This can literally deafen um, enemies. This can fuck up their hearing, their, their astral hearing, their physical hearing. Remove their tongues they cannot bear witness against me. Uh, this may actually come from voodoo. This may be an ode to the... The cow tongue spell, which is old as fuck. It's not just found in voodoo, but it's also found in like ancient European witchcraft sorcery, which involves a big beef tongue and driving nails through it and like nailing it to a tree to stop gossip against you. Uh, shatter their minds to get, think of her memory. I choose to um, take it a step further and say, Shatter the pottery of their small minds and scatter and pave over the pieces. They can never form a coherent memory against them, again, which is more powerful and more permanent. So we're just asking to take a step further. Cut off their hands so they, and arms so they can't hold me, steal from me, take a weapons against me, cut off their feet. It says paralyze their feet, but I just say cut off their feet completely so they cannot pursue after me. Now... Uh, the reason why I've taken so long, why I've waited so long to share um, this side of the Canaanitic practice with you is because a very dear friend of mine, and everyone will, will remain, remain anonymous for own protection, she was getting attacked by another practitioner who was using the Canaanitic prayer against enemies on her. And her eyesight did almost go blind. Like, her eyesight got really bad, like, um, like she had like fucking cataracts there and like her feet, she lost like all motion in her feet. So I actually end up having to bury this individual and I use, um, I had to bury this individual and I had to use the devotional prayers and had to put, uh, some of uh, my own, uh, efforts in there, which I'm not going to, uh, reveal in this video, but I did end up saving her life. And it, it, it was a big shit show. It was just a big drama fucking show. Um, so I'm not going to share any names or anything, but uh, there was a screenshot that was sent around 
that um, this person who I ended up burying to save their life there, uh, they had to block uh, this, this person there because they're using social media to make money off the occult. And it got leaked out that they are also in like SRA and they're like getting someone to like cut themselves or like burn themselves or something. So I just snapped and I just, I sent the screenshot around to everybody that I knew that was like big fish in the occult game. And this individual wigged out and started uh, cursing um, my friend there who I ended up having to bury to protect. And I got hit a little bit myself and it, it got real fugly, like, for, like, a good month there, like, almost every day, I was pissing into, like, jars of nails and thumbtacks and other sharp objects to create these magical decoys to defend myself, to defend my own life there, just burying a bunch of jars of my own piss and sharp objects to protect myself. But ultimately, what ended up happening is I uh, blocked this individual who had started the uh, the drama there and my friend who uh I, I i had to save her life by burying her she's she's doing much better now she's okay she's completely blameless of this but that individual there who who was um getting another individual to uh, injure themselves there for social media there I completely blocked them on everything on all fucking platforms there. And I just wanted to wait some time for this, this shit to blow over um, before I had uh, shared this. So it's safe for me now to share this. My protections are up. My defenses are the strongest they have ever been. Um, so that is why I had waited so long to share this. And uh, the last uh, stanza of the prayer against them is, Let your red and scythe become my sword and conquest of the sevenfold stab. Return to their hearts all the evil, wickedness, and corruption that they would have directed against me. Amen. And don't forget to hail Satan, hail Cain ben Samael, Cain the son of Satan. And the reason why this works so well is because we're, we're combining this with a well-established uh, practice, the lesser banishment of the pentagram ritual. Or we're, we're taking established traditions. We're taking Golden Dawn rituals, uh, Kabbalistic crosses, and pentagram rituals, and we're combining them with a devotional prayer. So you're drawing – you're basically drawing a, a, a pentagram around yourself. You're making a cube. Uh, you're, you're, making, you're making a cube of Cain's protection, which amplifies and strengthens the protection. And this seriously does work. I mean, I, I should be fucking dead. I should be dead right now. The individual who is causing this drama, he was supposed to know whoever shared that screenshot or ever leaked that is not going to see 2025. I mean, I, I should be fucking dead. You know, I, it, it, it was almost as bad as Rob. It, it, it was like Rob, Rob's black magic and Rob's Malefica, but in a slightly different way, like in, in a different way. Like I wasn't sleeping. I was but sleeping a couple hours a night there. And when I did sleep, it was very fragmented and very fucked up and very like broken there. So I had to act fast. Like I would literally come from, come home from work, grab my sickle and just, and just swing it around like a madman. Just swing my sickle like a madman at the air. Trace a pentagram. Spam the prayer against enemies. But it did work though. It, it actually does work. And I was able to get that shit off of me. And able to sleep too. Um, also making decoys is very important there. Um, very, very easy to make a witch bile. You just take a, a little tumbler there. Fill it up with nails um or, or thumbtacks or little shards of broken glass you know sharp objects there you fill it with your own piss some sea salt for cleansing you put in a couple of, of your own hairs uh fingernails toenails something that's of you there you mix and tumbler you shake it all up you put the seal of belial on top of the jar or you can put the or you can put the hand scythe uh symbol of cain the one that the one that looks like a hand sickle, you can put that on there, or uh, the symbols of your patrons or patronesses that you work with, and you just bury it near your home 
one should be enough. But if you're really getting attacked, you may have to put multiple. And I made many. I made fucking many. I even buried them on like each side of the road. So every time that I leave to go to work, that I drive past there, and it's almost like a gateway, almost like almost like like uh, flags, or like skiers in the Olympics. I gotta go through these flag gates. There, I, I can't be spilling all my secrets on here because I don't want my enemies. I know you're fucking watching. I don't want my enemies to start trying to dissect my my methods and try to take my magic apart and use it against me. That won't fucking work. So I'm not going to reveal all of my secrets here, but I'm just saying there's a couple of things you can do. They're making, uh, making the tumblers there of your piss and uh, sharp objects. Making those decoys is a very good way uh, to defend yourself from curse and attacks. Now, they do eventually do burn themselves out. If someone is really out to fucking harm you and get you, those things can reach their capacity. They're like a battery. They can reach a certain critical mass and they won't protect you anymore. And some of that Malefica that's been directed at you will start to spill over and start to hit you. So it's important. You got to make these regularly. If you're under attack, you got to make them regularly until um, all symptoms cease, until the attacks stop. And you can also use the prayer against enemies there. And any legitimate tradition is going to have this. Um, I see a lot of voodoo. A lot of like ATR in this prayer. Uh, Voodoo is going to have something similar to this. Uh, Kambanda is going to have something similar to this. Authentic European witchcraft. Not the fake ass Gardnerian uh, Law of Three bullshit. Fluffy Bunny Wicca. No, I'm talking about true authentic medieval European uh, Wicca. Middle Ages Wicca is going to have this. Um, the Alexandrian Wicca is going to have this. The medieval grimoires, of course, all the major grimoires in the medieval area, they're going to have this in there. They're going to have ways to defend yourself in there. And don't be afraid to smack an enemy. If someone's being absolutely fucking wicked, fucking belligerent to you, you have the right to just pound them into the stomp them into the fucking void. Okay? They attacked you first. You're not violating the natural law. Okay? However, just like that story I just told you, it can get hairy when other canine practitioners or practitioners within the current um, get into a fight like this. It sucks there. Um, it, 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 it fucking sucks there. But one of them is going to come out the winner and the other one's going to is going to come out the other side learn a harsh lesson. And it's usually the one whose devotion is greater and uh, which of the two is more authentic and really in the current for all the right reasons. And it's usually the one who's in there going there for egoic reasons or for personal gain, who is the one who's being belligerent and starting the shit, stirring the pot to begin with. Uh, with all that being said there, um, I have a couple more house cleaning uh, items to go over before I end this video. Okay, someone made a fucking comment there. I gotta find it there. Asking me about the unconscious or whatever, how I can change the unconscious. Uh, hi, great videos. Can you make a video about changing the subconscious mind using magic? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, I, I'm going to tell you what I would tell everyone here, and that is okay. If you're if you're coming here, if you are coming here, okay, looking for like a, a one quick fix, you know, like a, a one stop like answer to all your solutions. Okay, the occult is not just an easy manifestation button. It's not a just a fucking drop a cookie from the sky, or you know, or it's not a magical ATM machine. You just push a button and all your fucking problems go away. No. Changing yourself is the best way to make your problems go away. Uh, you can change your subconscious through daily practice there. Most rituals and workings are not a one-stop fix to your subconscious. The major ones that have to deal with your soul, the major alchemical rites and initiations that have to do with your soul, uh, do uh, 
uh, change your subconscious, change your soul on there. But you can also really fuck yourself up there if you're going to those uh, rites and transmutations for all the wrong reasons. What I recommend to you is to pick a martial art or to pick a tradition that has a daily spiritual commitment. There are daily commitments and daily exercises for a reason. And that is how you change your subconscious mind. The best way to change your subconscious mind is to just use the daily devotional prayers and every day there, or just get used to doing it like three times a week, you know, but if you can do them every day, and that's even better, that's the faster the change is going to get upon you. And the same, any legitimate fucking practice, you know, like the Eastern traditions, a, a Qigong, whatever, or like a karate or, or, or martial arts there, they're going to have... They're going to have a, a daily fucking move set that you practice a daily move set and exercise set and just series of things that you do to change you. It's not easy. It takes daily fucking commitment for years and years and years to create the necessary changes. But those changes can be made. I can't help you about sexual blockages and stuff. That's that's all you. That's that's all you. It's it's probably because you grew up in a Christian Puritan household that taught you sex was bad. That's up to you. I would look into the work of Dr. Wilhelm Reich and I would uh touch yourself. I would Okay, I, I would recommend that you stimulate your erogenous zones and just work with your body, pick a martial art or something, um, try to find a Reiki and Institute or find some bioenergetic work to just break down that armoring and just uh, work on that to remove those energy blockages. And that's just about all I have for now. There. Like I said, I had to wait. Um, I had to really fucking wait um, for everything to blow over for this for this individual to be blocked this long and hopefully forget about their uh, suspicions against me and forget their uh, grudges against me there. Um, but I don't think this individual subscribed to my YouTube channel there. I hope he's not there. Um, but if for any reason I have to take this video down or edit this video, um, it's because that um, this individual fucking um, is still pissed off and has a beef with me there. But fuck him. I'm not afraid of him. He's forever blocked on fuckbook there. I wish YouTube did the same way. I wish you could block someone on YouTube and they would never see your videos and couldn't even watch watch your shit at all there. So it seems as though uh, the drama has blown over. In the next video, I, I can teach you how to use the key of Bane or the key of Slain and combine it with the prayer against enemies to actually arm or reword the prayer against enemies towards specific targets and individuals and that also bleeds into the prayer on how to conquer a rival. Hail Cain Ben Samael.